What's up guys, hi and welcome to Workout B12, the 12th time I'm doing Workout B on this program. Um, the last workout wasn't as good as my past few, as you guys already know, uh, at least those of you who follow this closely. Now, for the past few days, I've been in a slightly better situation. Main difference is school is temporarily not as crazy, and therefore I'm able to sleep. Um, even though I have had fairly low sleep these past few days, it hasn't been catastrophic and I've been able to go beyond and deadlift not only 150 times 10, which is my previous record, but I managed to add two and a half kilos doing the same amount of reps. So I hit 152.5 kilos today for 10 reps on the deadlift and it was a truly hard set. Um, I don't think I would have gotten an 11th rep, although the next time I do the lift, I will do 155. And if I can hit 10 reps then, that will be absolutely phenomenal. I would be extremely happy with that. Um, this, if you put this into a one rep max calculator, it will spit out a one rep maximum of 203 kilograms. I believe that I'm at least at 195 or 197.5 at this point as a one rep max. And I could probably pull 200 on a great day. Um, Today was a great day. I felt very good. Grip felt very good. Um, you know, it wasn't completely perfect, but as soon as I did the first rep after warming up, I felt like, yeah, I'm going to get 10 reps. I felt it by the speed. Um, but after the fourth rep, I was really feeling the weight. So, you know, I had to dig deeper than planned and expected. Uh, my blood pressure was extremely high. It was an uncomfortable set. Um, but yeah, you're going to feel like that. If you're lifting you know, as hard as you possibly can. It's going to feel scare, scary and weird in your body and you're going to doubt yourself. And, um, you know, that's part of life. At least that's part of lifting. Self-doubt when you're lifting a weight that you don't know if you can lift is quite natural, but you have to partially ignore that feeling and um, push as hard as you possibly can, even though you're not sure of the outcome. You don't know if you can lift it. Um, the only way to lift it when you're, when it's, you know, on the edge is to give a hundred percent effort. If you give 90% effort, you won't be able to lift it. You need to do those last, you know, five, 10%. And, uh, in many cases, when you really grit your teeth and bite yourself and go maximum force, you know, that last 1% can be the difference between getting the rep and not. So on the overhead press here, for example, that last rep was very difficult. Now, the last time I did the lift, I hit 60 times 10. 62.5 times 9 is very slightly better, in my opinion. And if I manage to hit 10 reps the next workout, I'd be very, very happy with that. Um, because right now, my maximum overhead press is probably around 80 kilos. If I can hit one more rep there, it will be around 83. Since if you add... Um, if you add a rep with, how should I explain this? If you add a rep with that amount of weight on that exercise, it will give you, you know, two or three more kilos of strength um, in, a, in a calculator and I believe in real life as well. Um, adding a rep is, a, is worth at least two kilos added for the same amount of reps. So I am happy with that. Um, moving on, here is the chin-ups. I hit 18 reps a day. It's the best I've hit, um, matching my previous best chin-ups um, that I've been doing, not in my life, but on this bulk. Now keep in mind, I'm quite heavy now. So, and I'm also doing dead hang chin-ups. Um, so it's a bit of a comparison between, between apples and oranges with you know my previous best, which I think I've done 22 pull-ups, but with bad form, very much, like four or maybe even five years ago. Um, but I was very much lighter and I used bad form. Now I'm using good form and I'm way heavier. So if I managed to get up to 20 reps on those chin-ups, I would be extremely happy, especially considering the fact that I'm bulking and get actively gaining weight. And um, if I can hit 20 reps at 90 kilo body weight and then cut and maintain most of that strength, I will probably be able to do a one-arm chin-up at 85 kilos at the end of the cut. Now, if I only get to 18 or 19 reps on the chin-ups at 90 kilos body weight, I probably will be very close to the one-arm chin-up, but I won't be able to get it after this cut. 
and I'll have to do another bulk and another cut, which will mean it will probably take me a whole, a whole extra year to achieve that lifetime goal that I have of achieving the one-arm chin-up. So hopefully is the wrong word. Um, this isn't really about hope. This is about locking in in my sleep. If I care enough, I will get it done. Um, I don't have any excuses. I'm not studying anything difficult in university. I don't have a difficult life outside of uh, the things that are completely within my control. And um, if I don't manage to do it, it's not genetic. Um, because we're talking about I need to get a few percentage points stronger. It's 100% mental. And uh, the only excuse that would be valid is if I injure myself. And right now I'm very healthy because I'm training intensely, briefly and infrequently. I am training very hard, but I'm not training often. I'm getting full recovery between sessions and I'm not doing particularly high volume in every session. Um, every single session I walk into the gym refreshed and that gives me the best chance not only to lift a heavier weight and look better right now, but it also gives me a good chance to re-stimulate new growth with a very intense set again, rest again, rest the entire period, let that muscle repair itself, then rest a bit more, let it get stronger, and then hit it again. So I would say that even though I'm training very little, and most people would say this is suboptimal for me compared to what I've been doing previously. This seems to be the most optimal thing I've ever done. Now, the question is, does that say more about how inefficient my training was before? Or does that say more about how efficient this system is? I think it's a bit of both. Um, obviously, I'm young, inexperienced and delusional. So I'm much more likely... And I want to believe that it is the new training program which is helping me. And honestly, deep in my heart, this is my belief. I'm literally doing a single set per exercise. Um, and I'm making very good, serious progress. Um, especially when you account for the fact that I'm already in decent shape. And I've been stuck at certain numbers for a very long time. And... You know, making this level of progress as a beginner would be very normal, even worse than normal. But when you account for the fact that I'm at an intermediate level, I would say, in strength already, making consistent progress is very good, especially after having been stuck for so long. So I'm very happy with this. I'll continue to do it, um, not only for the rest of my bulk, but throughout my entire cut as well. But um, let's not focus on the cut now. Let's keep focusing on the bulk. I have a bit more than three kilos left and i'll probably be done in either december or january so stay tuned for that more lifts on the way